You want to talk about elections. We've got May elections, uh, local elections coming up, of course, just around the corner. Uh, and people need to remember to bring their ID with them. So what are they doing in Norfolk to remind people? This is, I mean, firstly, I should say, Christian, that having been berated by you last time for only choosing football stories for this slot, I thought I had to branch out. <laughs> this is a nice story of a, of a council boss in the east of England, in Norwich, who has uh, recorded a rap song in an effort to remind people that for the first time they have to take ID when they go and vote. Now, US viewers might not realise that, but until now, you could just walk down to the polling station and vote. This time the law has changed and you need ID. Right, so Alan's going to sing this rap for us. No, he's not. No, he's not. Here it is. Let's have a quick listen. I've got something to say about May's local elections. I've got something to say about May's local elections. t dog spitting bars about bold ID selection. So make sure you bring it or you'll receive rejection. 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 So may call it suppression, but don't be a square. Anna Menon, I see you in a wholly different light. I, I can sort of see you in the, in the sh shower sort of going to this. I don't know. Well, I can't see you in the shower, but I, I can see you at home. I can see you at home dancing to this. Scrap I'm that. not for a moment <laughs> suggesting that he should give up his can day never job. never get that thought out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> what a note in which to end. <laughs> <laughs> We're after the watershed. Keep going. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a particularly good rap. I mean, there are serious issues behind this. I mean, opponents of the move will say, A, this is addressing a problem that doesn't exist. I think in our 2017 and 2019 elections, we had one case of voter fraud. And there's a real fear, I think, amongst the people who are meant to administer elections. Yeah. That the people in polling booths are going to have difficult tasks turning people away this time. And of course, ultimately, is yeah. the danger that people start to lose faith in the electoral system. Anna Menon. Stephanie Rawlins-Bake, thank you very much.